everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at these Regency Lighting G25 size 40 watt incandescent globe bulbs. Now I picked these up at the ReStore and what really caught my eye about them is the packaging to be real honest. Um, I like blue obviously but uh, just look at the designs here. That's very interesting. Can't say I've seen any design like this and particularly the way that it's packaged. Look at this. The bulb itself is kind of presented here through the top with this folded in top. I can't say I've seen anything like that where you can see the bulb inside. Now, sure, you know, Sylvania, GE, many other brands had the top that folded in and you could see the bulb through the sides here. But I can't say I've seen this particular style of packaging before. So this is uh, pretty unique. So on the top here, we have Regency lighting, 40 watt, 130 volt globe. And you can obviously see the bulb inside. Same information here on the front. I like this logo here. It kind of looks like an eye. Uh, it's just interesting. And the other side, you have a little tab here you could pull out to hang it on a hook at your store. And the other side on the bottom, we have Made in Korea with that Regency logo. And the same thing going on here with the other package as well. One thing to note on these blue sides, they have this 40G25W. Now, looking at this by just quick glance, I would assume 25 watt and whatever they're doing with 40G there. But it says 40 watt clear here on the front. So my guess is they got the letters mixed up or something. And again on the bottom, made in Korea. Very unique packaging. So I'm not really sure the best way. You can kind of pull these out, but I don't really want to ruin the aesthetic of the top of the box here. So we're just gonna go for the bottom and we'll just kind of pull it apart here so that we can re-put it back together. And there's the bulb inside. Ooh, look at that, it's kind of like a little dent going on there. Looks very much a style of an Abco bulb. I remember my parents having some Abco bulbs in their vanity lights in the bathrooms. And this style with base and the neck here and everything, it just looks very much like that. So it might be the same uh, company making it for this Regency lighting brand here. We have a very nice blue glass insulator and what appears to be some type of brass base unless it was painted this gold color. 130 volt, 40 watt Korea. And it is a little dirty, so I have a piece of paper towel here. We'll go ahead and wipe it off. It feels like it has a very light coating of some type of grease or something on it, probably to keep it nice and shiny. Yeah, the base is in pretty good shape. You can see a little bit of cement coming out there though. Not bad. Okay, so there's our packaging. And let me get our socket here. And it might be on, so let's see. Yep, it is. Now, first impressions, it's definitely a little dimmer than 40 watt, but that's to be expected with 130 volt. Right now, we're doing 119 volt. So let's turn off our, our lights here. We got a third one here. And there we go. Of course, from these globe bulbs, a very pleasing light. I'd almost say it's 25 watt, but again, that's just the, uh, you know, being on 120 volt from 130. So, if I hold it up here, about two feet away from the lux meter, we're getting about 42 lux right now. And like I said, it's a very pleasant color of light, very warm. I could see this being in just a open lamp, you know, just like your vanity. But it's just so dim, I, I don't really see it being used in a vanity in the bathroom because it doesn't emit that much light, unless, of course, you have a bunch of them together. Okay, so we're currently at 38.2 watts. So I guess 40 watt, or close to it naturally. So maybe it just has a very thick coating on it, which nothing wrong with that. I can hardly tell what's inside. You can see a little bit of a support right here. But other than that, it must have a C-shaped filament because I can see a little bit of distortion here and there. Okay. Uh, 0.32 amps, naturally. Let's see here. Okay, I'm going to unplug it. And I'm going to plug it into the Variac here. And let's turn it on. So it's at 120 volts right now. I... Um, 
measured it currently for the voltage that we're getting 119 out of the the wall here and the original marking was right here in the middle but i moved it a little bit this way to get more accurate readings here so if we bring it up to 130 so this is 130 volts just what it was designed for and you can definitely see from 120 to 130 a difference in the light and it's not much but there, you can definitely tell so here we're at 130 and there's 120 130 120 so you can see how bringing that voltage down but being 10 volts higher here on the package it's definitely going to make the life longer but of course brings the lumens down so let's bring it to 130 where it's supposed to be and now we'll take it on down of course being incandescent this is going to dim very nicely 90 volts 80 70 60 it flickers a little bit this variac is very old it's one of the very first generations of them and when they first came out it needs a little bit of cleaning still 50 volts 40 30 we still have a little bit of glow going on there but it's really hard to tell so if we bring it back up to 40 we can see it there and a very nice glow at that you know very nice accent lighting you can get from these style of bulbs and filament LED is definitely catching up but the dimmability from a traditional incandescent you know I don't know if they'll ever be able to match that they've tried a lot of different things but this is still very beautiful in its own way so let's turn on the main lights here again and I suppose that really is all there is to say about these Regent lighting 40 watt globe bulbs I love this packaging that's just so unique it's I I mean if you've seen any other brands that have done this let me know in the comments down below I've also never heard of Regency lighting so maybe you've heard of it have a little history on the brand but uh, it's also a first for me as well once again I hope you enjoyed this video and also please comment rate share and subscribe and thank you very much for watching